Now what was I doing again? Oh yeah, beating the crap out of a skeleton. Just trying to be mean to my Moogle buddy. And there's a Tyrannosaurus. Oh my! This could be bad. So I just stole his magic points. I bet it just loves that. So let's get a scan on this thing. Get a little bit of our information. 5,000 hit points. Weak against fire. Well... I could cheese this out. In fact, I think I am. Elixir. Two dragon. I'm dead. As a possibility that the uh, Phoenix Down will work, but from what I'm told, it's rare. Also, I shouldn't have drained it. That actually drained my magic points. <sighs> so, dance is a bad idea here. So, what started out as an easy fight quickly turned against me for my own arrogance. Wait a minute. Maybe that elixir did work on it. And it just decided to counter with the same amount of damage I did to it. Okay. Being a smartass said, we rescued a Moogle. And it still is scared to death of us. Seriously. Rita is good with animals. Cough! <laughs> so, yeah. Give it a great big hug, Rita. Give it lots of smoochies and kissies. Wait for it. What is it doing? It wants to show us the way out. It's a pretty awesome idea. I think we should follow it. What in the... That was interesting. Speaking of interesting, at least it's the way out, which is pretty awesome. Except for Forrest flat on her face. <sighs> That's what I get for throwing an elixir in an undead's face. It just quite wasn't enough. Also, you would think you could use the healing staff just to bonk somebody until they're full health outside of battle. No, the game is gonna let you be cheap like that. Hey, here's a sand crawler. Just something to make my day. So, you know what the time it is. It's time to look at stats. Looks like a monster from the deep. Oh my! Not sure if we should be fighting this thing. That's a lot of hit points. No visible weaknesses. Finally! 15,000 hit points. And that was a horrible amount of gill and uh, experience for that. 
and the power drink really doesn't make it worth it. So I'm staying out of this ad. Instead, travel in the forest, like the Moogle told you to. Now, how did that Moogle travel anyway? One minute, and we'll do a little big backtracking. Stay in the forest. Stay out of the sand. That's what your mommy told you to. So I suggest your, you listen to your Moogle. Your Moogle has the best idea on how to remain stand, safe from the sand people. So go as far as you can. Until you forget where you are. And hug the mountains. And look for the patch of forest. That is slightly weird. Oh shoot. I think I'm blind. It's gotta be here somewhere. There it is. The Moogle Village. Hey guys, what's up? Oh my! I don't think I'm very welcome here. And when I come back, let's see if we can find that Moogle we helped out. And maybe make some new friends. God, Moogles have changed so much over the years. One moment! <laughs>